Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dhere Bagga and today I'll be playing the final blitz on Lee Chess and during the game I'll try to be as instructive as possible like always, making sure that there's something to be taken away as a learning that helps you improve your game to the next level. Now before I start with the game, I request you to subscribe to my channel and press on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that I'm posting up daily without a miss. So yeah, let's start with the game and see how it goes. Which pieces I get? Got the black pieces. I'll play the Karukan defense. C6, D5, open can take, advance. Advances, so it the advanced variation, develop the bishop. O to F5, play pawn forward, E6. I a mean, good solid center. Yes, not the great space in the center, which you generally like in other openings. But this has its own merits. I can play pawn forward next. Uh, but here my open plays pressure, which generally I can take, but I prefer bringing it back. Um, so do I take here, open up the edge file, which can be helpful for the attack in the future once my open castles. I can just exchange bishops here. I'll take with the knight if he does take, doesn't. Okay. Can play pawn forward because my, if my opponent does take, I can take with the bishop as well. Uh, closing the situation is one nice idea always, but I'm not sure how effective in this case. I'll just go ahead with the knight first. Trying to keep my knight over to f5, which would be a good square for the knight attacking the bishop. Opponent takes here, I can rectify my pawn structure. <laughs> so let's do it, why not? Okay, that's a pin on my knight, which is okay. I can take, but his knight comes up and then can be troublesome at some point of time. I'll play pawn forward, preparing b5 next. Let's go ahead with b5, attacking and pushing the queen backwards. Uh, do I need to take? I think I should take here. Uh, my open takes with the pawn and then I get my rook active trying to gain some space eventually I can get my bishop active attacking the knight um shall I do I need to take it I'm not sure I'll just play pawn forward having a good same uh, pawn structure Castling is an option which I can use anytime if required. Uh, queen is of course defending it. Uh, do I have something with the knight? Knight is pretty much inactive. I need to find a good way out for my knight. Okay, I can begin with creating space for my knight's eventual square. Okay, I can take here. My opening come here with the rook and then attack the pawn. But then I can come back with the knight and defend it. Shall I castle? Yeah, let's castle. Let's see what happens. Yes, we thought it right. Now we are defending the situation. Our opponent goes back, which had to happen. I'll go here with the queen, attacking the knight twice now. Of course, he has a knight and the queen and the rook as the defenders, but yeah, it can cause some troubles eventually. Okay, I'll give a check. Required. Let's give it. I'll come back, maybe play bishop backwards. Okay, uh, knight. Knight remains the puzzle in this game. Like it has been throughout. This is a decent square for the rook because it's guarded with the queen. Okay, I can take here and spoil the pawn structure at least. That does happen. Okay, let's come back with the queen maybe. Once this queen moves, I can take the pawn. 
that is one intention uh let's go up with the king the ideas of getting my rook here okay um can go here okay let's go ahead with the knight attacking the pawn eventually open is also playing the waiting game and so can we play it okay I'll go here and here eventually, I think. Hmm. Okay. So I can deflect and take a pawn and then take another, but doesn't help me much. Or let's go with the knight. You can play rook here. He comes down and I go up. Yeah, can be fine. Or I should first go up and then I can not play rook forward. Tricky kind of game, I would say. Okay, I have another move. And this should be some positive because i can have a pawn break now if he takes and i take that's fine because okay let's see what happens takes my rook is kind of free now let's try and exchange Okay, attacks my queen instead. I can go here. Strike to break open from there. Have to take. Open and takes as well. Let's go with the knight. Close this. A closing would be nice. Losing out on time. I have to be a bit fast. I have to take here. No other option. Oh, why did he do that? Something in his mind. Not sure. I have a check in my mind though. Can be called as a nasty one too. I don't know why that move was played. Yes, it does kind of break opens the situation, but I don't know how much it favors my opponent. Pawn forward would lose on this part. So he had to go back. I'll just close this situation first. Comes down, preparing to give a check maybe. Oh, that loses the queen. What was I thinking? That was free queen. Yeah, he has to resign because that's a quick checkmate happening from anywhere. <laughs> so a closely contested game, I would say, but then the queen throw away. If that was not the case, black was still ahead because of the sacrifice that my opponent play uh, tried to just maneuver there. That pawn shouldn't have been taken with a knight. So I think when the situation was closed, it was a draw kind of a game or white had advantage here. Yes. And then when my opponent tried to break open, that's the point when my opponent starts to lose. Uh, yes, I can just maneuver my rook, but I just went on with my ideas of knight going over here and then blocking the connection between the two pieces, which was the queen and the rook. 
Here my opponent played pawn forward, just getting a bit anxious to break open the, situ the situation, which is not the right way generally. And that's what happens. I take actually taking with the e pawn was much stronger. But anyways, he would have taken the way he played. He took with the knight and I take, he gets to have a pawn, but he lost a knight there. Why would you do that when the situation is in your control? I go ahead with knight over to b6. Opponent gets the rook or attacking the pawn. I attack with the queen, giving a check. And then I closed the entry path of the queen. And he tries to give me a check uh, eventually or threatening a mate. But that is, he missed that the square was being controlled with the queen as well. Uh, the better way from here, I don't know if there is any, but could have been to exchange queens of the board. Uh, because if you don't, suddenly I am going to take control of this game. Rook is coming over to uh, a3 and that can uh, lead to big messes uh, very quickly. Queen then can hop in over here and then both are controlling this beautiful third rank. Pawn is making sure that the open cannot come here. Probably just one, two squares remaining that also being controlled with the queen. So that would be a checkmate pretty easy. So don't be that anxious. Uh, try to make sure that you are playing solid gameplay. Uh, the waiting part in chess is amazing. That has a lot of strength. So just try to wait for the right moment rather than just trying to break open stuff without thinking the consequences. I hope you liked the video. Do let me know your feedback. Keep watching and sharing. Do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already by now. And I shall see you tomorrow again with a nice video. Thanks for your time. Take care. Bye-bye.